So it's been a while since I got in any fan mail, but today I got a box from my good friend Rob over in the UK. Uh, some of you may know him as Rob the Red Engine here on YouTube, but a couple months ago there he helped me snatch up one of the Ertl characters that I was trying to get my hands on. And when he sent it to me, he said he'd also throw in a few other goodies in the box. So go ahead and get this open and see what all's in it. All right, just going to go ahead and open the box here. Hopefully not cut into anything important. I don't know why everyone's got to use this brown tape. Actually, I think of a... Yeah, there we go. Looks like... Got a whole bundle there. That's... Toss that aside. And yeah, we'll see what we have here. Alright, got some chocolate. A little... This is probably that Ertl character, I'd assume. I suppose. Yes, there we are. In all its glory. Set that aside. And lastly, a Christmas card. I think the first thing I'll do is look at this Christmas card Rob sent. But, okay, looks like we got a Thomas themed card here. It actually looks pretty nice, get rid of some of the glare. Choo Choo, Merry Christmas, Thomas and a Snowman. Full steam ahead for the best Christmas ever. From Robert. That, that, is, that is really nice, I quite like that. Bit of a cartoony looking Thomas with the reindeer antlers, but uh, I don't know, I, I approve personally. Oh, that's cool, this looks like the uh, Christmas ornament I got last year, if uh, you saw my uh, Christmas present video from last year. Yeah, that, that, that is really nice. Thank, thank you, Rob. I'm going to go ahead and hang that up with the other Christmas cards I got this year. The next thing Rob sent along was this Ertl Metallic Rusty. And this is something he helped me get my hands on earlier this year. And before I get into that story, I want to give a big thank you to Charlie over in Oregon because he was the one that actually found this model on eBay. But when he found it, it was from a UK seller who did not offer shipping to the States. So what I did was I got in contact with Rob to see if he could help me out. Because earlier this year, he was looking at a Theodore Tugboat set on eBay uh, from a US seller, but they didn't ship to the UK. So what I did was I bought it for him, and he paid me a couple extra bucks for my time. And I went ahead and boxed it up with some other goodies and sent it over to him earlier this year. But he went ahead and basically did the same thing for me on this Rusty. He went ahead and bought it, and I gave him some extra money for his time, and he sent this over to me now. But looking at the model, you can see here that it uh, it's in what I call reasonable condition. It does have a few paint chips here and there. Uh, there is some uh, sticker wear to like the buffers and such. And the face has been slightly chipped, but it's in pretty good condition and it's not completely beat up. And these models command a high price on eBay if you can find them, especially if they're mint in box. Uh, this Rusty, I can't remember, I think it was under $10 I paid for this, but you know, I paid Rob a little extra for uh, buying it for me. But uh, I do have the stickers to replace the ones that are missing and damaged on this model. And I also plan on going in and carefully touching up the paint. I'd like to do a face swap on this. Uh, whether or not I can do that, I don't know. But uh, I'm really happy to have this just because it's one of the last 1999 Ertles that I need to complete that year. And again, I'm really uh, thankful to Rob for helping me get my hands on this. I uh, definitely wouldn't have one at this time if uh, he didn't help me. Just like in the past, I've done a side-by-side -side comparison of the metallic model next to the normal one here. And once again, you can see that once you put that metallic finish on the model, it really stands out. And, I mean, I'm just really happy to have this. And there's one more comparison I want to do, or more like just uh, display, so give me a second. 
So here are all the 1999 metallics I have, and you can see there's Rusty, here's Duke, which I featured a couple videos back, and Lord Harry, which I showed earlier this year. And uh, anyone that's wondering, I do have Sir Handel, it's just he's still shipping. I got him from the UK as well, but I'm expecting him here before Christmas, and I'll be sure to do an updated video on my metallics when I uh, get them all. But yeah, again, I'm really happy to have Rusty here. And once again, thank you, Rob, for helping me get this. It's really appreciated. The last thing Rob sent was some Mars bars, and I've wanted one of these for years now. And I've got a question for my audience, which is, if you live in America, have you seen these for sale? Because I cannot recall ever seeing these in this country. And I mean, I've looked at gas stations, I've looked at stores, I've been to different states, and I don't recall ever seeing these, but I did think they were available in this country at one time, unless Mars quit distributing them here. But, I mean, uh, the candy M&Ms, they're made by the Mars company, and you find those in America, so why not these? Just opening up the package here. And it looks like these are actually individually wrapped. There we are, a Mars bar. How about that? Just opening up the package here to the candy bar itself. Oh yeah, look at that. Well everyone, there is the famous Mars bar in all its chocolatey glory. And there's quite a aroma coming off of this. really want to bite into it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the video here before I do that. So before I end the video here again, I want to thank Rob for all the stuff he sent along. I mean, I really do like this Christmas card and looking forward to getting into those Mars bars and especially appreciate his help in getting this Metallic Rusty, uh, another Ertl character that uh, I needed to complete my collection. But I consider myself very fortunate to know Rob. I mean, I've known him since I believe 2008, if not longer, and he's one of the few friends slash YouTubers that I've been able to keep in contact with all these years and uh, just a really great individual to have in my life but again Rob if you're watching thank you for all this stuff really appreciate it and to Rob and everyone else wish you all a Merry Christmas catch you all in the next video